Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for subscribing to those that have already subscribed. If you're not subscribed, then you know what? It's time. Hit that subscribe button. Hit click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to join my channel membership. Um, my channel membership, the link is in the description bar. If you don't see a join button next to the subscribe button, whew, it's a dollar and 99 cents to join. And that's per month. And you do have to be at least 18 years old in order to um, join. Um, <laughs> I am going to feed baby Noah. I've been giving him a real bottle. Like a, you know, let him use his drinking wet system. And I don't know how long. Whenever the last video that you guys seen him get one, that's when he, the last time he's had a bottle. So, and for those of you that might not remember, he is the Willow Asleep prototype by Claire Teller um, from ClaireTellerDolls.com. Ah, there's the plug. Um, and um, I'm going to give him just water. Um, with the drinking wet babies, it is important that you just give them water, I think, in my opinion. I'm not an expert. Um, his bottle... I should put some KY on it, but his bottle, this bottle is that a special too, because one year I was at the doll show and I got to meet Claire Teller again and she had one of her personal babies there in a personal bottle and it had the little squeeze bottom, bottle, the bottom and I said, Oh, I like that. Can I have that bottle? <laughs> Cause I am silly like that. So I said, can I have that bottle? And eventually I got my way and I got the bottle. So, um, this is actually one of Claire Taylor personal, um, bottles that I got. So I, I will keep it of course. One of my souvenirs for being a, 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 as one of my friends called me, a stan, a stalker, a stalker fan. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I, whew, I am like, so only part I'm hating about the quarantine, I will say this, is the fact that I cannot go to the hair salon because I don't feel comfortable being that they are being exposed to all their different clients. I feel like them then going to them, no matter how safe they try to be, I feel like it's just not safe enough for me. However, I, I do think I will have to go get my feet done. I don't know. But, you know, one of the things that I'm hating that I'm hearing a lot from people about the quarantine is a lot of people are saying like, oh, you know, people are acting crazy or they're, they're being moody and they're doing this and they're doing that because people are so locked up inside the house and they don't have nothing else to do. So they're just, you know, angry with the world, basically. Oh, that diaper is getting full. And, you know, I'm like, you know, it's kind of like pregnant women is known to have to have an attitude or being fussy and moody and sensitive when they're pregnant and you know mean when they're pregnant i didn't go through those phases when i was pregnant i was sensitive and i was more whiny like you know um i think i cared more i was actually nicer while i was pregnant <laughs> um but i'm weird but then you know with the quarantine i feel like yeah we may get a little manic we may get a little bored we might start doing a little weird crazy stuff but just being outright messy trashy and nasty to people and you know walking around starting crap doing stuff i don't think that got nothing to do with quarantine i think if it's in you to be that type of way then it's in you it's just kind of like people say when people get drunk or alcoholics you know um 
they they do things that they normally wouldn't do they it's basically like they have the courage to do those things so i think like some of these people you know if it's in them to be like that you know they're just doing it because you know they can and it, and they, they want to do it like i'm not going to become a serial killer because i've been locked up in the house all day unless i was already thinking and planning on who i was going to kill you know what i mean like that kind of stuff like i don't i don't i don't buy into that i don't like all those um excuses for bad behavior i don't i don't i don't i don't buy into that i think this is a time where we should be taking the time to enjoy our families, um, our loved ones, you know, not knowing what's going to happen from one minute to the next, working on ourselves if we're, you know, we have like art, you know, stuff like that. We're home more, we can, you know, practice more on our crafts, um, find a new hobbies, you know, new things to do, take advantage of online friendships. Um, you know, I think that this is the time to, you know, do the positives. Baby, like, where is your diaper? Well, I do this every time. Um, you know, not not take the time to 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 run around and, and start trouble and create chaos and you know divide. You know, create division within the community. I don't think that's that's what it is. We don't need team A and team B and team C. We just need one big team, one reborn family. Now, provided, keep in mind when I say that, I say that thinking that you're going to use that the right way, okay? Because everybody have people that they vibe with. We're not going to all love each other or like each other, period, point blank. My personality is not going to be for everybody. Your personality is not going to be for everybody. You find the people that you vibe with, the people that you like, the people that are similar, have like-minded thoughts. Not that they're going to agree with every single thing that you do, but, you know, um, and those are the people that you follow on social media, you chat, you hang out with them on their lives, you know, that type of stuff. He is so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. He's like, I know. Look at him, he's so cute. I know the, the camera's kind of far away, but <clears throat> I'm trying something different here. Oh my gosh. Like this diaper is so swole, let me show y'all. <laughs> it is so funny. Like I would never let my real baby diaper get this swole. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Look how swell his ever is. It's so swell. And you see the line has turned green. Um, but yeah, you, you find you find the people that you actually like. Um, and you Okay. There's a Hair, hair plane, <laughs> airplane or something going over. But, you know, and the people that you don't like and the people that you don't vibe with, you leave them alone in their own corner. Like, you don't go looking to start trouble because you don't like them. Because, like I said, um, this is not the time to do that. Not only that, you know, this is a hobby. So a hobby is a place that you should be able to go, something that you should be able to do, relax, unwind, laugh, and kind of release some of that stress from regular day-to-day -day life functions. Because can we can, can we all admit that somewhere in our life there's something stressful, a stressful area, at some point in time, no matter how perfect your life is, how much money you have, there's always going to be something that just be a little quite off or something comes up, whether it's a death, whether it's a, you know, a, you know, dealing with taxes, you know, whatever. I don't know what rich pro people problems be, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure it's something, okay? Um, so, you know, you want to be able to take a break away from that. You know what I mean? For a minute. 
and enjoy. But if you make this place miserable too, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Like, you know, I mean, I'm not going to spend hours being miserable. Find something that make you laugh. Like, you know, it got to a point where I kind of abandoned a lot of the, the reborn and, um, you know, the doll videos. I, I started going to watching my other channels um, that are not doll related because I needed something that to laugh at. I needed, you know, something that would, you know, good chatting videos while I paint, while I work. And I didn't want to sit and just listen to the same old, same old, same old. And that's another thing. When you go to people's channels, you know, if they ask for suggestions, like, what do you want to see? What do you want to hear? This, that, and the other. You know, you know, it's great to be able to give your input. And then if they want to use that or, you know, answer your questions or take your suggestions and do those things, here come that man, um, then you, uh... Then you, you, that's good. But, you know, you can't dictate to people what they should be doing on their channel, what they should not be doing on their channel, because it's their platform. And if you want to do something different and you want your own platform, then you go and you do that. And not only that, you know, I don't have a problem with people doing commentary or having something to say about, even, like, even if they do come on and say something that you may not agree with or they might have some commentary about your last video or whatever the case may be you know that's totally up to them that's their platform I typically do not try to go to other people videos and you know leave comments and get into arguments with them or post or whatever I prefer to keep everything on my own channel you know it's you know, let let people have freedom of speech, I guess. Um, but he'll be soon. I'll have to unlock the, turn off the uh, alarm and all that great jazz. So I will have to go before I can even finish my video and everything. I knew that was going to happen. Anyway, guys, but yeah, you guys get the point. Um, enjoy your hobby. Make it a, a happy place. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, rather you enjoy the hobby or not. I see a lot of people like saying, you know what, I'm going to pack up. I'm going to leave. I don't want to do this no more. And I get it. Um, but don't let nobody run you away if you can avoid it. I mean, just cut out the bad parts. You know, there's always a block button. There's always a ignore feature in your, your head. <laughs> You know, you can, you gotta, you know, if you want to have your hobby and you don't want it to be destroyed, you know, stay away from toxic people, toxic groups, you know. Um, I had one person tell me like, well, if you keep blocking people and, 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 and unfriending people, you're not going to be able to see, you know, all the new stuff that come out or you're not going to, you're going to miss stuff. And I'm like, that's fine. I'm okay. Because the the stress and the toxic stuff that I get from, from those individuals takes away so much from, um, hello. Hey, I'm, I'm in the middle of a video. I'll be down in a few seconds. All right. Sorry. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, if you, if you like cut, just cut those parts out, you can still have your hobby. You can still enjoy it and you don't have to worry about, oh, I hate to cover up your little legs. You just so, so creepy. You so sweet. Yes, you will. Look we'll at that one old baby. <laughs> wow. So, what, so, what, so. He just looks so sweet, like so sweet with his um 
he looks so sweet with his with this this on <sighs> okay but yeah you you can still enjoy your hobby you just gotta work around the bs don't go selling off all your dolls and then and then you a couple months later a few days later a week later you realize you miss it and then you can't get back your favorite dolls and stuff. I, I hate to see when people do that. It's so sad. I've been to that place before where I've wanted to do that stuff. And, but, so I know what it feels like. So I'm not going to judge them and say, you know, that's crazy or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, just try to find you a, a sweet spot or a way out, like, you know, eliminate those people that are, you know, making making your hobby not good anymore. Anyway, babes, um, I gotta go. I gotta let this man into the garage so he can do the lawn and, you know, blah, blah, blah. anyway. So, um, we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I hope that I didn't take up too much of your time. And we'll be back with another video. Let me just get him settled. And um, once I get my next break in between painting, I will come back and make another video. Because I want to try to keep up with you guys. Alright? See you guys later. And then you turn off the lights. <laughs> turn out the lights. <laughs> and light a candle.